What up guys, my name is Kong and today I'm going to be talking about Snowpiercer. I believe that's how Snow Snowpiercer, yes. Is I watched this uh, this movie on Netflix and this is, you know, a star is starred by now Chris Evans and there's, you know, uh, other, other cast involved. I don't know exactly their name and I will put it in the, in the description somewhere for you guys to check it out. So, I, I you know, I'm going to be honest. I don't know what this movie is about. All I know is about a train, end of the world. That's it. So I watch it. So what did I like about this movie? I like Chris Evans acting. And I like the, the Japanese man and his uh, supposedly his daughter in the movie. They played a wonderful job. They did a great job. And I like the, uh, I guess you can say, you can say the supervisor or the chairman or the, the second lieutenant. She played a wonderful job, you know, being snobby and that sort of thing. It was great. I liked it. And in, uh, in addition, I like the, the design of the train. You know, you they have like, uh, it's almost like, you know what, it, it's like the different classes in each cart of the train. The far toward the tail is the poor people, you know, they're gonna die. And you have people who are, you know, you, you have the, you know, making food, uh, teaching kids, and you have entertainment, and you have, uh, you know, parties, and you have people who are rich. And then you, finally you get to the machine or to the core where you meet the, the man who designed the, the train. So I thought that was great. It was like, it was good because the undertone of it is basically about the, uh, the, the division of class, you know, rich and poor. That's really the key in this movie. It's, it's subtle, but it is there. And then uh, upon that, you have Chris Evans' character who is trying to take over, you know, this train and, you know, get so that way the poor doesn't die. And you get to, into the whole philosophy of balance and all that and that is in order to survive so you know I understand that was the core of the mess the core of the the message too because the earth is you know it's got global warming and then they have to like they use some chemical up in the air and it frees everything and then and then it talked yeah, I get the idea of the yin and yang you know, balance so I understand that point it was well well thought out you know I didn't realize that until the end of the movie and I liked that a lot and I, and not to say I liked the fight I liked the 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 movement that Chris Evans character had to make or one by maybe one or two train at a time to get to to the final spot so I thought that was great you know, the fighting the using the understanding that this they're going through a tunnel so they got to be you know on the edge and that sort of thing so there's combat involved even fighting in a train so I thought that was really cool interesting too so uh, and I, well, I also like at the ending for Chris Evans characters and he realized that the source is just a machine and a machine runs everything and he and then it make you think that he was so and you realize that the him as a character he got so into it into the the whole aspect of getting to this man try to kill this man or get to take over this man and then and then he finally realized that this whole that this whole time was just everybody was just trying to survive and Yes, there are some division between classes, but there was just every there was nobody died, nobody lived. It was just I mean, there are some people died, but the, there was some sort of stability in the system, and despite of his flaw. So I thought that, and Chris Evans realized that. Oh my God, he just now he got to lead this whole thing, this whole awful, god awful. A system, you know, the train, the rich and the poor, and all of that, you know. So that was really powerful at the end. What did I not like? I wish the the, the two Japanese and uh, actor and actress had more role, more script. I thought they were really great, and I wish we got to see more of um, Chris Evans, the second lieutenant, is the guy that he uh, was helping him. They die. 
I wish I got to see a little bit more of his character, more of his background. You did get it, but you don't see uh, the growing him growing up. So, what else? Uh, the fighting scene was interesting, but I wish it could be a little bit more creative, more unique. The fighting scene itself is unique enough. It's just uh, it, it feels long, and it just doesn't. Com it, they don't compress it short enough to where you could uh, tolerate it. You know, so. Those are the kind of thing I didn't really like about the movie. It's just me being nitpicky, not you know negative. It's just me nitpicky about the movies. So what was the rating I give this movie? I give it a, uh, I give it a six out of ten. I did enjoy it somewhat. Now the I say the first half was kind of, you know, slow. Is this there's a lot of talking, and then the but then the. Toward the end, it got better. There's some fight scenes, there's some revelations, and you can see that the tone, the classes of them, and the, and you get to see, you know, the 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 philosophy you know, of balance and the ecos the eco ecosystem, that sort of thing. So, I I liked it. It was good. It was different for sure, and you might enjoy this movie. Anyway, guys, please like thumbs up. Excuse me, thumbs up, share, subscribe, and browse to my YouTube channel. I have a lot of content for you guys to check out. But anyway, take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.